Tommy, I read that there are 65,000 table saw injuries a year, which means we really can't talk about safety with these tools enough. And now there's a new one on the market that's supposed to keep you safe, and it's smart in the process. Exactly. Well, like all table saws, there are safety features that come with the saw, and everybody should use them. First is a riving knife that goes over and behind the blade. So if you're ripping a piece of wood, that riving knife will keep the space open so the board, if it's wet or mm. warped, it could close up on the blade right. and the board can kick back at you. Kick back is nasty. Another thing right here, these are called dogs, and these go on the riving knife. Yeah. And they're spring-loaded, so they keep pressure down onto the board. Right, and the way they're shaped allows the board to go forward, but right. it doesn't allow it to come back. I can't pull that board backwards. Yeah. Another thing right here to keep the sawdust from blowing into your face is this guide right here. This on, lock it down. Mm -hmm. The board can go in, but the sawdust doesn't blow right. into your face. You know, and it's important you know how to use it, right? I mean, it's not just a typical saw, right? It's got rips, fences, it's got outfeed tables. It's right. Your rip fence, you want to make sure when you're using a rip fence, if you keep your hands away from the blade, sometimes you're going to need to use a push stick like this to protect your, your hand so when you're pushing it in close to the blade. Right, okay. The other thing is, is when you're using a cross-cut guide, you don't use it in conjunction right. with your rip fence. Okay. So these are features that are going to be on just about every portable table saw. This one, however, is smart. Check out this control panel. Right, this control panel right here, if you look at this right here, that has smartphone technology. In other words, I can program this saw to say who and who I don't want to use this saw. So how, how will you use that on the job site? Well, I can program it for, let's say, one of the subs to come on the job site, and I don't know those guys, and oh, I don't know if they're qualified to use a table saw. Huh. They can't use it. So I guess if I've got it at home in my garage, I could use it, but my kids couldn't if I didn't give them permission. Absolutely. Oh, that's a nice lockout feature. Yeah. I like that. Cool. But I think the biggest thing about this saw is you can't cut your hand with this saw. Right, which is really where all the injuries come from. And you know, we've seen that technology before where the, there's actually a sensor, right? It senses yeah. moisture. It senses moisture. It'll actually drop that blade, um, and what is it? It blows it into like a... a yeah, it rolls it into an aluminum block. Yeah. So the blade gets down into that aluminum block. You have to buy a new aluminum block and a new blade. Okay. With this saw, the blade doesn't get destroyed, and you have to buy a new cartridge. Yeah, so you can actually maybe keep going on the job site. You don't have to run down and find a new blade. Exactly. We're going to test it out? Absolutely. Okay. You want to use your finger. What? <laughs> we want to make sure we have safety equipment on, to protect our eyes and our ears. We don't want to get hit by any flying meat. <laughs> All right, so are you ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> no matter how many times I see it, it is amazing. Look at that. Not a scratch on. That's awesome. All right, so I'm going to shut this up. See the red light's on? Why don't you unplug that, and I'm going to open this up so I can reset the cartridge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside here, and I'm going to flip the cartridge, because there's two of them in one. So this will actually drop the blade twice with one cartridge? Yep. So I just unplug it right here. Okay, so now you can see what's happened here. This cartridge was activated. It drove this piston down, which drove the blade down away from the table. All I have to do now is turn it 180 degrees and put the new one back in the spot. So you actually get two measures of protection out of that cartridge there. Exactly. Oh, that's great. All right, now I make that nice and tight. Then I reach down, push this button right here, pull the blade back up, and hmm. lock it in. And the blade's not damaged at all. All right, now I put my cover back on. We have power. Turn it on. And we're good to go. Just a minute and you are back in business. Yeah. Great tips, Tommy. I love it.